Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to do a video on infertility. Infertility is a PCOS related issue, but you don't have to have PCOS to be infertile. Infertility causes great emotional hardship on a woman or a couple that is trying to conceive. It is one of the most serious issues a person can face in their life, but it's not the most serious issue that they'll ever face. What is infertility? Well, infertility means not being able to get pregnant after one year of trying, or if you're over the age of 35, not getting pregnant after six months of trying. Women who could get pregnant but can't stay pregnant are also considered infertile. Both women, men and women can be infertile, but in this video, I'm only going to talk about the woman's side of it. One third of all infertility causes or cases are caused by a woman, woman factors. Another third are caused by male factors and the rest are just both male and female factors. So just keep that in mind. Infertility affects 10% of women between the ages of 15 and 44. What causes infertility? Well, mostly ovulation problems such as PCOS or POI. POI is primary ovarian insufficiency. Primary ovarian insufficiency occurs when a woman's ovaries stop functioning properly before she's the age of 40 years old. POI is not the same as early menopause. Less common causes of infertility are blocked fallopian tubes due to pelvic inflammatory disease, physical problems with the uterus or uterine fibroids, which are non-cancerous clumps of tissue and muscle on the walls of the uterus. How does age affect fertility? Well, it says that in the U.S., 20% of women are waiting until um, they're after the age of 35 to have their first child and that's causing most of the cases of infertility in this country. One third of couples where the woman is over 35 will have fertility problems. Why is that? Because an older woman's ovaries are become less able to release an egg. She has a smaller number of eggs to release and her eggs are not as healthy as they should, would be if she was younger. She is also more likely to have health conditions that can cause fertility problems. She is more likely to have a miscarriage. Well, it says how long should you wait? Again, if you're over 35, give it six months, go to the doctor. If you're under 35, give it a year. Um, what increases your risks? for infertility and that would be age, smoking, excess alcohol use, stress, poor diet, being overweight or underweight, sexually transmitted infections, health problems that cause hormonal changes such as PCOS or PLI. Medicines that help infertility in women help treat it. There's a whole list here, and those are Clomid, Repronex or Pregnol, um, Gonalef, Folatism, and Ganodotropin, releasing hormone analog, Metformin, and Bromocrypt. Or, well, that's their, I guess that's their official name, but um, yeah, those medications alone can help a woman increase her chances of conceiving. And if that doesn't work, there are other steps a woman can take, such as intrauterine insemination or IUI, and that's an infertility treatment that is where the woman is injected with specially prepared sperm usually from her husband and she's also treated with medicines that stimulate ovulation before IUI. 
IUI is often used to treat mild male factor infertility, women who have problems with their cervical mucus, and couples with unexplained infertility. If that doesn't work, usually a woman will move on to um, assisted reproductive technology or ART. ART um, comes in different types such as in vitro fertilization or IVF, zygo intrafallopian transfer or ZIFT, gamete intrafallopian transfer or intracytoplasmic sperm injection um, or other ways that women can help treat infertility or surrogacy, gestational carriers, or that's just about it. Um, whatever that you choose to treat your infertility, that's your choice. It's really personal. And some people will just bypass all these, you know, doctor's visits because it's very emotionally, um, you know, stressful to have to go back and forth from the doctor, wait on test results, wait on this. It's, it's a lot of waiting. And maybe around you, other women are getting pregnant and you'll feel like left out. You know, you'll feel like, why me? Why is this happening to me? A lot of women do deal with this issue, but it can be a very lonesome thing, even if you do have a partner with you to help you through it. Um, you know, just know that you're not alone, and that's how you really can.